today we have someone who is very much our own and i'm really happy to have him on this panel uh deepak and uh, my association with him goes almost back to two decades uh as a serial entrepreneur deepak has been there done that uh education of course being his first love and which has brought him back to whistling woods and i'm happy to have him uh, as a chief mentor there uh besides today uh, deepak is also known as the ip king in the event industry uh, there are people raving about uh, the extent of uh, businesses that he has evolved within the ip business uh, deepak also happens to uh, be on the board of uh, india's only event uh, e magazine which is event faqs he was the founder and uh, continues to hold position there so this is one of the only source journals that actually provides authentic information on what is happening in the event industry so uh, deepak uh, welcome to this uh, uh, webinar today and i'm sure uh, students are very glad to listen from you but i'm going to today talk to you not as an entrepreneur not as a mentor not as a uh, educationist but i'm going to throw questions at you from uh what a student would typically like to know about event education because uh while we've been conducting webinars on a regular basis for uh people here uh we've been talking more industry so today uh my objective of doing this session with you primarily is to bring in the student a student's perspective on what they need to know about event education how uh the education business is relevant to the industry and uh, what will actually matter the most if a student actually undergoes an event education uh, for him to enter into the industry and gain a foothold there so uh, i'm going to start there and you know try and uh, pick at you on this one uh, one is my first question of course is how relevant and need based is event education and how is education going to be a game changer for the event industry going forward into the future i think it's it's uh, uh, we've been doing as um you know the bit of education uh, business i've been in from the beginning i think i i started this uh, uh, way back in 2002 and um, and seen a lot of kids um, coming out um, in so many years in the in the whole space um, in events and and achieving a lot of good heights uh, today i proudly i'll say the biggest asset i have these students around the country students who are maybe they are 30% staff of uh, any large event company anywhere in the country i think that's where the asset um, uh, what i've built with the time that pushed me uh, uh, and then come back in this space again and i want to um, i want to uh, bring that bring that level um, which i'm not saying it's missing it's 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 an another level i think my whole journey of understanding when education and spending a lot of time in events now has made me a better um um educationist of where i feel um, i know what a kid and what a kid can get and what a kid can do now keeping keeping this as a background uh, to just to take you um, uh, to answer a question of how um, relevant um, event education is in these times i think i think what what a see why why we need um, um why we need a course why we need a program or why we need education it's easy it's easy for a kid today in event management and just start working with an event agency it's you can start um, you can start with working with your um, um uh, like family events and that kind of stuff but the education changes the whole 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 environment Ed education changes the whole game it changes it is competition it is somebody better than you is is automatically better than you because he's been part of that education he's met lots of people um, during during that program be the teacher be the people from industry i think that the whole environment which brings your mind say for example i i am a fresh entrepreneur when i started uh, event school way back in 2002 i never had an experience but today i feel if i would have uh, taken an experience or a education about that i may would have done something better so i think to go deeper into this is 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 event education required it is more than required because see finally a normal growth of a growth of a kid will happen by reading 
by going to new places, by meeting new people. I think that's where that's where event education teaches you and event education makes you or force you to put that environment together. To continue that question, uh, I want to ask you more about, you know, uh, the relevance of meeting new event managers, uh, getting exposed to the industry, uh, connecting with uh, audiences, uh, you know, when you are on events, knowing how people behave to various scenarios. Uh, where, how, how evolved and uh, how critical is that as a part of the learning curve? And does event education actually teach you those in baby steps in many ways when you're exposed to multiple types of faculties, multiple types of people coming onto the campus, you going on different kind of events. So is that, is that the relevant footsteps that someone needs to take? So I'll tell you in a different way, uh, what, how different it is a uh, event education schooling uh, than a, than a normal education. Okay. So this whole ecosystem is made out of four or five points. First point is, you get to be taught by people who've spent time in events. There's no faculty, which is a maths faculty or a accounts faculty and so on. It's, it's all taught by industry professionals. First part. Second, you spend a lot of time. Now this is, I'm talking event education. Okay. And then maybe I'll make a little more relevant to more deeper to a student's life. Second is how, um, how effectively uh, that teacher is, is putting those learnings and those experience in this mind of this kid with a real time experience. Okay. So that is a faculty, uh, complete, um, a faculty delivery. Uh, next point is very, um, what, when, a when, a the, the, the kid starts going on events. Okay. So at the course makes you possible, a, any event school course makes you possible that you can go to, go to learn at events and you will learn the, the whole nuances. Fourth, a lot of time at Whistling Woods, how you planned and we planned together that how um, kids will also uh, uh, go through a lot of life stimulation of, of a real experience of tech with your experience or, or maybe we will create IPs with my experience there and so on. And, and this whole environment finally, and when you, when you go, I, I want to share one example, past example at uh, uh, one of the events I was working and, and I met in the, in the, I was, Earlier days, I was managing parking of that uh, that event. It was Eastern Awards at that time, and I met Shahrukh Khan there, and I helped him park his car. Today, also Shahrukh, uh, when I write to him, he respects because I've made that relationship because I met him at that time. Okay, so that's what event education teaches you of meeting people and and doing these new new things, and then. Uh, 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 next step is, yeah, finally it's, it's the output, what you, what you are coming out of it. So a great faculty, a great training, working on events, a lot of internships, which as it is, our program has planned for a three month internship where they will, they will automatically, it's, it's like a pre job. Okay. And nobody, if you, you, you were there as an intern, I think nobody wants to leave you. Okay. So right identification of their skill sets to identify a right internship and finally getting them a good job. So I think it's a, it's, this is the holistic system, which an event education uh, differs from other education. Good. So uh, now a lot of kids today, you know, believe the event industry is all glamour. It's about excitement. It's about opportunities, it's about travel. Uh, of course, we both have seen a good part of it, but also uh, we've also seen uh, the difficult part of it. So what I want to do is take down those rose tinted glasses for just a bit for these kids out here. And uh, I want to ask you a question is saying, uh, besides these glamour opportunities, what is the real event industry? When we talk about live events, when we talk about real careers in event industry, how do you define those for these kids out here? And, and how do you put them into a relevant bracket saying that there is much more than what you see in glamour and in terms of, you know, travel and uh, the excitement and fervor that you typically see with a large event like a BMP, you know, so when I, when I used to run uh, a BMP show reel, kids would say, wow, wow, you know, I, I want to do something like this. I want to get on the stage, see those fancy lights and stuff like that. But what's the real deal? What's the real picture? And what are the real careers? So, so I'll, I'll, I'll put this in two parts of the, one is one is uh, to define uh, what are the skill sets and what are the specialization. Okay, that will define a kid's skill sets and specialization. And second part will define the which are those industries which this industry is grown to and which this industry is connected to. And you can't um, without those event management skill set, you can't do anything 
uh, now so i'm saying i'm going to define this and answer in two parts so first is first is um, uh, skill sets okay so i'll define the skill sets in four part one is this kid who will learn through the process is a is a sales who's a revenue develop, revenue guy sales understanding of uh, uh, business development okay uh, this person can evolve or can pre may have a pre pre experience and then evolve to this or so same same skill set of marketing um, servicing um uh, so this is one space marketing servicing business development revenue getter and so on second space in the events is is a conceptual stage which is concepts if you're creative if you if you can write well if you can uh, so that's if your concepts are great if you can think about solutions for a brand it is that space too space 3 is this person who's great at production and can understand the detailing and can plan much in advance and can can you know it better you you are an expert at that and so on so so this this uh, um, guys jatin is the biggest production people i've seen in my my career i think so th- understands that cur- the the whole space of production and and fourth is the technical part of it we we can get into a set designing as technical we can get into sound light um Uh, as technical today we can get into all our technology into technicals and we will teach the kids as it is uh, this course is also aligned to lot of digital and lot of technology training and so on now so so mixing all of this is what a skill set you have to define while while um, what is that one of those skill set you have that's part one part two of this this whole ecosystem of event management today in a real reality a hotel can't do without an event manager a uh, uh, auditorium can't do without a event manager um um a corporate can't do without an event manager a pr company can't run without an event manager and it keeps going 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 i i think today the this event manager uh, the guy has become the the person has become uh, so apt like a um, um, like like a that sh- we call it sugar in the tea so you can't you can't have a tea without this guy and now cheap mein gul mil jata hai he correct so and nay and you can't do, do without him anymore so, so i think that's that's another part now how um, this so what are those careers in this space is either let's say for example if we define types of events you can get into a seminar you can get into exhibition exhibition is a huge industry it's a it's a 20000 crore rupees 30000 crore rupees industry you can get into conferencing you can uh, you can get into award ceremonies you can get into concert management you can get into ips uh you can get into weddings birthday parties cricket match fashion show reality show you can get into sports management so there is no limit to these industries and it keeps on opening with those same skill set which i spoke to you about okay so how do, so kids important is you you always come for that glamour but finally glamour is very short lived i'm saying this education gives you a detailed skill set to achieve uh, a extraordinary skill set to do fantastic work in the event space okay which can be in any of the corporate environment which can be in an agency environment or which can be at a personal environment so uh, yeah so that's where you know i was also uh, wanting to ask you there's a question from harshad sonavne on on the chat he he asked saying uh, what is going to be the future of the industry uh, after this pandemic i know uh, this has been asked quite often with other fac- yeah. other faculties also so uh, where does the industry go from here already i know uh, a lot of work has been done on the virtual space you have been uh, online with almost all your ips so could you throw some light for harshad on saying what is the future uh, of the event industry uh, post the pandemic harshad i i think where where uh currently every business is at the level playing field okay so you we we will see this in 75 80% of the businesses in various environments okay going through a phase where um uh, where it is low as low as it can get okay so the truth at one level is that but each of these spaces have is is finding opportunities where they can maximize so in the current environment where event managers have moved everything online and and it's huge scope there uh, google uh, one of our group companies lux live experiences does a, a a google event every week and pretty large google event online every week now so has has is the the whole environment has evolved it is evolved at various length and breadth but for sure 
the size and volume has come down to 30%. But while in, in this six month, nine month, I can't answer when, when this will open up for sure. Uh, today, I read a news of um, 15th August, uh, people are working towards opening a lot of things. The government is opening and then there is some medicine coming in. And But we all are waiting for it. But what I feel strongly, um, as as this, the space of event managers is not going to go low. It's a space space of event management. It is a it is it is going to be a time when the people are consuming, people are uh, conserving their money, and they will spend at the right time. And that's the time when the brands will spend, or a consumer will spend, or a wedding's money will come back, or a hotel money will come back, or so none of consumer is saving money. Consumer is not spending. Consumer will spend back again. So it'll, it's like a pause and then play again, and it'll open up in exactly how it was and we've grown 12 to 15 percent year on year and that growth will establish little more only it but for sure we are on a pause for next six to nine months and and that's the time when education can help you uh, 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 go things into deeper so this exactly dovetails into my next question there is a lot of confusion you know in many students that i've encountered during counseling and also i'm sure many out here I would also like to know the answer from you, Deepak, especially since you've been, uh, you know, breathing ex education for the last two decades in your life. Uh, what is the right institute, uh, and what uh, what is it that you know is the real deal as far as uh, event schools are concerned? Uh, where do I where do I put my money in when I'm talking about event education? Of course, I would say Whistling Woods because I, I represent it and I believe what we're doing is something really uh, great. Uh, but what are the checkpoints that one must look at from a pure industry perspective when we're talking about, you know, deciding an event school? See, I'll tell you, um, I'm, I'm for sure I'm an involved party here. Uh, my answer, little influence, but, but I'm saying on a, on a, um, on a, on a larger note, uh, what, what a choice when you make of choosing an institute, we have a choice to make. Um, uh, each institute is, is trying to do better than other, but what happens is see the faculty. I, I'm, I'm also, I'm, I'm a very high believer on who's teaching you. I think the school is known as their faculty. One. Second, um, um, uh, Whistling Wood International, um, um, starting an event school is a big thing for me. Okay. Um, I, I think the helm of media education is uh, uh, Whistling Woods. Okay. And, and it can't get bigger than this to be true. Okay. So, so one is, one is see the overall brick and mortar model, which is um, what is, is there a building? Is there an education environment? All of that you have to see as a base. Second is te see the teachers and faculty. Third is see the industry connectivity. The people who are behind it can connect more people on industry. And finally, can, can you get a job? I think these these things you have to evaluate at each level and take your decision. There is nothing. Um, this is better or no. I think you you have to take your own decision. I, I won't say uh, and and say that this is better or that. I'm saying this is my uh, current formula. But I I would definitely like to see on this forum, uh, Deepak, that uh, the kind of people who are teaching at Whistling Woods are some of the top 200 uh, event managers who have come on board to build this program together. Uh, this is being facilitated by an advisory board, which has the names that have built this industry over the last four decades. So uh, there is a lot that has been put into as a thought when we're looking at creating tomorrow's leaders. So uh, Deepak also believes in the same aspiration that I believe in that uh, we are creating a new generation of leaders for tomorrow. And the purpose of, of building an event school in Whistling Woods was one to bring them to a campus which could provide opportunities which no other can provide in the business and also focus on uh, the holistic learning from a simulation perspective and not just an academic perspective and you know going on a field and doing a job so it's not a cut paste job here it's a maro it's a much thorough uh, intense learning that has been put together and deeper that's where you know i want you to spend a little more time talking to uh, the people on this forum about saying when it comes to faculties and uh, I understand that, you know, everyone comes with their own best practices in the business. Uh, but again, it's driven by regional trends, global trends. You've, you've run uh, a, a education program that ran across multiple markets, including Dubai. Uh, but when it comes to real teaching to happen, okay, uh, how important are the teachers who cre can create impact? And in your opinion, how does it get delivered better when you have good faculties on board? So I want you to talk about the faculty component 
and how the industry teaches industry hires industry does on the job training model uh, work for a student and how does it help him evolve and get into the industry more easily see uh, i'm i'm going to give um, example by um, say for example a roshan abbas who is now um, a president of our association also the event association now he so he is an involved party in this program okay um uh, he will teach he will train he will take people for internships in his program and finally he will hire okay now keeping all of this mind we have roshan abbas's kind of people there are around 300 to 400 good people who've spent and who have volumes of work and and who've created uh, this whole industry and segment and that's what we've based out of this whole school from the school is not a it's built out of them it is built with them okay now now how important is this is 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 a uh, uh, is is it it is a process to 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 get this teacher understanding aligning the syllabus you're teaching first part is the uh, first part is very clearly this person who who has to be matlab who's been teaching that syllabus has to be relevant to today and so that that is what an effort i think is being taken uh so th- there are a lot of times old event management and new event management is a ve- lot of difference okay now if if you don't align new event management you will and traditional event managers are 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 uh, are difficult to to sustain in this market but yeah so you have to become a new event manager and that's what a great faculty brings in secondly i'm saying i'm going to use the word experience let's say um, you you said ki how how um, i'm i'm going to add on like say for example i um we create a lot of ips and maybe um, uh, so so automatically the kids will get that experience of learning from those ips and so on okay so automatically they involved in in the whole process of or running that particular show and finally when when these kids kids are getting job they automatically will get because they've spent enough time in that category they've spent enough time in that particular area okay with these people and they these these faculty do identify their kids they want to they want to pick it up in the in their in their teaching time so that's where i think this this whole um, whole import, uh, the whole ecosystem is important uh okay there's a cheeky question which i want to ask you uh, it comes from natasha arhana she asks which is the best event institute to join natasha do your you homework i think no so do do your homework go to every school there's nothing called best there's there's it's a it's a process a kid has to live okay you have to make a choice of what you uh, what you think what is the best for you i think choose that go to every school if you if you find um, um, and and talk to people understand the nitty gritties and whoever answers your question best and i think and then rest is all public space information okay uh harshad has another question which says how can a student run an event business company so i you see we at this program of uh, whistling goods uh, we it's an entrepreneurial program at much more deeper manner okay you um um so i i suggest all who want to get into event business i think this is the program they should choose this program has been made with that angle so danish asked a question saying there are many big successful event in the, uh, he says uh there are many big and successful people of event industry uh, that in their times didn't have a school or institute to study event management yet we see them successful at the peak of the industry which they have gained through on field experience so how much important is theory or book knowledge you want to answer that or should i no so no uh, you can answer you take that answer uh, if you want to it's no no you of course i want you to put in your inputs and then i'll add to it no so so my my um uh, answer is very uh, see it's a it's a entrepreneurial industry up till now if you go back to uh, all the people who've, uh, who who have evolved they have evolved because of their work but are they uh, 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 did they, did they and they have uh, i've written a book called staged pick up that book uh, you will see their stories of the kind of work these guys and these entrepreneurs have built that uh, but but i'm saying more learning more thoughts more thoughts open up by reading 
okay so and so it's there is no a, a, a jack ma or a or a um, um, uh, if you say the name of like the mark zuckerberg they've not they he's a school dropout so i'm saying enough examples of people who've done better than our event managers so i'm saying and they've not studied so book is it's it's a way of life you can become big event manager without studying also i i'm saying that's not the uh, observation or statement i'm making i'm saying it definitely enhances and makes your whole process faster easier and uh, a better okay so i'll add to what deepak says danish is that if you learn from say a deepak and a jatin and a roshan and a brian and a whoever else that comes to teach you you are learning five different examples of success versus a single piece of information that you would probably gain from one school or one uh, person that you would probably work for on the job so uh the process of education and events is more relevant because today you learn best practices from five different people and this allows you to become more thorough in understanding what to choose when you come across a situation in the event industry uh, when you're put up with a challenge so would you go with roshan's approach or would you use jatin's approach or would you use deepak's approach at that time that analogy will hold you in a much better state of mind and will be able to give you a much better success than what it would where it's a single dimension opinion so uh, uh, that's the difference in you know the advantage that you have today uh, if you're doing an event education program versus what we had so i would have been the happiest if i had a school way back uh, you know 30 years ago to teach me events because i would have been much more better in a much more happier space than where i am and i would have been more successful but we have learned the hard way we have learned it the brick and mortar way we have made mistakes and we have failed and we have then gone up and become better but in today's competition failure is not an option the the market is extremely volatile and to perform and to deliver uh, is critical for us and that's where uh, having that knowledge having that power to be able to analyze and assess and deliver becomes all the more critical so therefore uh, education is a must okay so uh, there are lots of questions deepak uh, one more yeah. which has come up uh, you said about internship okay and you said there is a 3 month internship that will happen at whistling woods now how will this help uh, what is the right manner of getting into internship what should students take away from the internship what will they what what should they learn uh, because a, it's is it an unpaid job i know it is at some times but what what is the key takeaways for the student from an internship See, it's as 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 simple as it gets. You are on a job, okay? So it's not internships in a event management format. It's a job. It is not a, a not that you're going to you're going to get there. You'll sit for a month and then you'll be given a job. No, you're on an event immediately. And finally, if you are on on that event, you are doing uh, sales, you are doing production, you are doing technicals, you are doing creativity, and you learn that process. Event manager is also a multitasker. okay and and generally so if 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 a department is chosen but you still work on an event finally so whole 3 months of the process will make you a complete event manager where you can actually um, sum up what you have learned in theoretically and you can keep coming back to your faculties at that time okay that in addition to the company you're working with keep coming back to the faculty keep keep uh, there'll be a lot of projects uh, which will be alive which will be relevant to your internship and then the the whole process will complete the whole process of this whole internship so this is a question which i'm sure most post grads will post to you every single time and this comes you know comes up in even the regular counseling that we do sometimes with students uh, there is intense competition which we understand as far as placements and jobs are concerned uh, so what are the job opportunities for graduates and what lies in the future for them so i'll tell you this this whole um uh, event management space is 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 it it's growing to another level okay from a um in uh, discounting this covid period um every industry uh, and space by space i think each of it for example to support a digital space you need to do an event to support a pr mechanism or a p of of a brand you need to do events you need to do activation uh, to create to create a buzz you need to do an event so in a, in a in a holistic manner this overall event man, this is growing the event management space okay so that space is not remain with very small i'm discounting the the real time huge business of wedding industry in this for now 
okay but it's 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 growing the the event space is growing now if your your which where i i, I didn't understand this question of the kid is saying what is the uh, uh, what is the job available or uh, how that so just repeat the question the question is that uh, what is the placement uh, opportunities opportunities in business, considering there's so much competition yeah so so automatically competition is is a is a stupid word uh, there is there is as good you are as good as you are so th- nobody is seeing um, uh, competition if you want you the, the you need to create a demand for yourself if the if the hirer is not finding good in you then you're not good it's not that you're better than somebody else or so on and so forth now so it's a one is a is there a need yes there is a need second is a is have you developed those skill sets yes you've developed those extraordinary skill sets of one particular thing let's say for example we in this program we will teach you detail format of set designing okay now and set production and set fabrication now have you and there is a today also there are 10 people required or 20 people required every time and people are not getting people okay so is there a demand and need of that it's huge okay uh second is a skill set what you need to develop third is will is there a um uh, growth to that at each level of events okay there is it's a it's since the growth is there of the industry overall the the each level the demand keeps increasing and your need keeps increasing yeah so there is there is a huge opportunity sitting there okay uh so deepak you also be known for building your connections with the industry you you've been uh, instrumental in bringing a lot of people into the business whether through the education uh, uh, motive that you ran for almost a decade and a half uh, you've been instrumental in connecting so many dots within the industry whether you know it's uh, industry evangelist uh, or people who were from outside the industry who were struggling with their ips and trying to you know pitch it out there so today while event agency still struggle to build one ip or two ips a year you build like uh, dozens and dozens of them like a factory uh, you are also known as the ip king uh, which uh, gitika ganjudhar uh, lovingly calls you uh, so i want you to particularly talk about the entire genre of ips whether it's social nation which is the largest youth connect program or whether it's bollywood's biggest music fest which is bmp or uh, the biggest industry expositions which is uh, india ip conclave or the entertainment show you've kept at it and you've kept developing these ips and building them in such a strong entity so what is the ip business why why is it like that enigma and and can you shed light for students because i know there will be out of the people logged into this call there would be at least about 10 15 guys who have already have ideas in their head and saying that if i do this course if i do education and if i want to start my own ip where do i go how do i put my thing together so can you just throw some light on the whole business all about okay ip uh, just for people who doesn't know it's intellectual property and intellectual property in the event space and and so it's not a very very commonly or a famous in a segment i'll explain you in two parts so wh- while there is a business of a uh, business of uh, agency like what a what an event agency does okay they service a client account okay now uh, uh, the ip business is an asset business you build a, a asset for yourself and that asset you generate revenue through sponsorship or ticketing and so on and that asset keeps growing with the time now uh say for example to give you an ip example ifa is one of the ips which has been built on a one basis community which is bollywood uh, awards or a or a sunburn which is an ip which is built on edm music festival it was it was not there and sunburn started it all okay so in um, where i belong to is a is a is a company called event capital where we build these ips or we have partnered these ips or we have invested in these ips or we have curated these ips with the time to have around 15 16 ips portfolio now in each of these ips let's say i'm going to give an example of one of the ips called social nation now social nation like um, so we how how it starts it starts with an idea uh, there was there are influencers sitting there there is like a project takoli which is the number one youtuber or a karimanati which is a number one youtuber on male category 
Now we realize they are hugely doing great stuff on digital, but they they have not seen a ground event. We got more than 150, 180 of them on ground, okay, and with with our partners on One Digital Entertainment who excel in this particular space, and and made a ground festival with 20, 30 000 people coming in. And through the if you if you follow Social Nation page, you will see the kind of work we are doing. So each each ip gets created with a category each that category you you grow that category of involvement and engagement of a consumer and finally you make it big i'm going to speak from a student point of view now so this 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 industry is the the in 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 india um, around the world like you've seen tomorrow land as a festival or a or a um, 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 lot of festivals which you which you will know which you will not know um, uh, we in the in the in the uh, whole ip space in india it has been a new space so it's not very old space and it's not a very uh, but in next 5 to 10 years um, the whole economics of event industry will get defined by ips and ips you have and and that's where this course um, um, will take you deeper into that yeah at the end of it which will allow you to build your own ips uh, we at event capital will will partner or fund or help you to curate that i think at every level but but overall uh, um, say for example i i sometimes feel bollywood music project we bring in 60 artists uh, it it takes a lot of time uh, to build three artists five artists but we build with the time a 60 artists you heard tarsim mittal sometime back you interacted uh, jatin with him uh, who we partner in this with so each of these we have something called india bridal fashion week which is the largest uh, bridal show we have windmill fest which is the largest kids show each of our ips focuses on one particular space we keep focusing we curate there we put the sales team there we put the um, marketing team there we put the curation team there um, and finally we put the operation and technical team there so that's where the skill sets will be needing going forward on ip business also uh, so there's a question from bhavesh kriplani who wants to know uh, he says that you know right now events are not happening on ground they are happening online because people are not allowed uh, so will we get practical knowledge of online events as well as offline events in the school and will we be taught virtual events also the answer is yes uh, but i would also like deep up to talk about saying what is the online business like you've been hosting events online left right and center so Uh, what is the what is the big game there, and how does it add up to uh, what we are already doing offline? So the hybrid event, wala jo word which everyone is coining nowadays. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, it's a word. It's called digital. So digital, digital and uh, yeah, digital together. So I I think the 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 world is moving towards that. Not only the events, every category is moving towards that. You slowly, slowly, you you we were we were thinking of like say a Bollywood music project. We were doing in one city at a Geo Garden with twenty thousand people or ten thousand people. Today, if we are doing an online Bollywood music project, we're not talking twenty thousand. We're talking twenty lakh people. Okay, we're talking twenty lakh people. How we engage around the around the country around the world. Um, so so. automatically the whole digital has opened our minds the currently the events when we are hosting digitally it open our mind it open our universe okay so it has become bigger in that space but uh, if you say from the program related when when it comes to um, actual training um, the 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 whole good part is we've been able to develop the program basis this okay so the the program has lot of technical knowledge it has lot of events knowledge which is on, uh, which is taught uh, the whole event technology will be taught to you it will be taught online plus offline um, you will have a physical training and you will have a online training so it's a mix of all of it i think it's a right time to learn all of this very categorically we've also embedded all the technologies which world over which world over i think that course will also bring that experience world over whatever the technologies are getting used to deliver events all technologies will be uh, taught to you in some format so i just want to add your deepak is that uh, whistling woods is the only event school in the country today to have its own vr lab we are uh, completely virtual reality ready uh, we have a module on extended reality which is being included much before even covid happened as a part of the curriculum and this is something which i think is a big takeaway for students if they are looking at you know uh, how we are forward thinking on the program per se so there's a question from vikas here uh, who says uh, which is a good one to do degree or diploma in event management so it vikas doesn't matter uh, event management when you pass out or when you are in the process of learning uh, what what matters is what have you learned okay so um, in a in a postgraduate program it really doesn't matter 
in an undergrad program because you need a degree also parallelly because to to call yourself a graduate you need a degree program for sure while in a postgraduate program i'm um, i'm amdavad doesn't have a degree so it's i'm amdavad and that's where we we think we are i'm amdavad of event schools okay uh, deepak there is a question on mentorship here so uh, today a lot of schools are offering uh, education but how important is mentorship uh, or you know some kind of physical guidance uh, in the evolved learning for a student so when a student comes to the campus uh, while he does go through the theory with the rest of the team uh, how does the brushing up of skill sets or, or mentorship or personalized guidance become an effective tool in evolving for themselves and becoming better uh, prospects for the industry so no, i'm um, my answer is i'm available for that matlab that's my answer I, there's nothing more than that um, you may specify a little more but i'm saying ki uh, we are all available and there are more industry people available and more faculty available and no more ecosystem of the whole whistling which is available for mentorship yeah at each level so i think there is no question about that i think it's our responsibility to to um, i act as a chief mentor and make sure that you will get the 100% of that particular uh, category well so then it brings me to a very cheeky question deepak uh, which i'm going to ask you uh, as a chief mentor what does deepak choudhary bring to the table for whistling with school of event management ah oh, that's a nice one <laughs> so uh, so i i i think i've uh, uh, i want to talk about uh, it's it's i've i've been pioneered um, in the event education and um, i understand event education at a at a deeper manner where i understand the skill set of a kid who um, some kids think of a revenue and something kids think it of a, a, a cost center some kids are very creative some kids are very uh, very entrepreneurial okay so i think the 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 holistic view of mine of this journey the some part of depend on the uh, some part i've spent on education some part i've spent on industry like last um, one is an event figures which is a media company uh, in the event space but last 7 seven, seven and a half years has got into this ip and event business ecosystem that evolved uh, has evolved me as a, a better educationist as i said okay so as a as a chief mentor i think at every given point of time uh, my knowledge of education and my knowledge of um, ips and event industry i think i will embed that at every day of this life, kid of uh, every day's life of this kid i think that's where that's where the sum up this point is. okay uh, and i want to add one question here this uh, is just running a little short of time uh, this is from again bhavesh kriplani who asks saying uh yeah so bhavish's question is uh how important is practical knowledge to event education i answered this in some form but yeah we event education can't happen without practical knowledge for sure i think at every level uh, say for example if you um, i'm i'm again going to give you an example of uh, one of our festival let's say you get involved in bollywood music project we will put you in a process of um, understanding and identifying who are the artists who's going to be performing what all goes behind finalizing those artists so that's another one more space of talent management and artist management in the space you will learn well um, second is so again you are at the 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 level of uh, training uh, where uh in in second level we will take you through what happens on the ground management what happens on the production what happens on the uh, which are the how the technical vendors are defined you'll be working with them okay third level is you you will be working on uh, so curation i said you you will be working on a campaign so some of them some of you will be working on a campaign where where the whole campaign get bills of this festival okay and finally you will be there for the final day so at each level we will ensure that each level the training um the practical training is given on uh, the uh, keeping the holistic view in mind and not just just one part of it brilliant uh so deepak uh, any famous last words that you want to share with kids here and tell them what they should aspire for what they should look for uh how will the industry uh get i mean i'm sure that you're all waiting for the live industry to kick in and you know we all waiting to get on stage and do things uh, the way we used to uh but till that happens uh, there is uh, there is still a lot to learn and understand so uh, what are what is the advice that you want to give kids uh, who are here on this forum and uh, when events really do kick off and we start doing live events what do they see for themselves 
See, I'll tell you. Uh, question there. by Bhavesh, so I'm just extrapolating on that. Yeah. So okay. So I'm saying two parts again. Uh, one is um, as a kid, when 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 I see um, I want to choose a program, I think event is a it's so to to make it easy for you is event education a right education to choose at this point of time? Yes, it is. While you will pass out from a program in event management, it's the time that this industry will be growing up. There are three things, learnings, what we, in my whole, uh, there is technology, there is digital, and there are ideas. If, if, you, if you are inclined on any of this, then choose event education again. Okay, if you're an idea person. If you don't, do, uh, uh, if you say, for example, if you, if you, if you are very, um, um, it, it depends on a skill set you want to identify. I'm saying choose the right skill set. What If any of those skill sets are catchy for you, uh, then choose the right program. I think it's the right time for event education. Uh, when it opens up, it's got a huge opportunity. Great. So um, it's been wonderful talking to you, Deepak. I think we could have done much more today uh, had we had a live campus and a live masterclass to do this. Uh, but nonetheless, I think uh, you've hit the home base and told us exactly where uh, students need to head to if they're choosing a career option. Uh, but I, I definitely would like to advise everyone who's on this forum that uh, there is a lot of promise in what uh, event management can do. And uh, there is a lot of promise in what uh, it will do for the industry going forward, uh, virtual or online or offline or on ground. Uh, today, if any marketeer is looking at engagement as a solution, the answer is uh, event management. And that is what uh, I think both of us swear by. and. Uh, we believe is it's going to be the future. So uh, we welcome you with open arms. Uh, we hope to see you on the other side, rubbing shoulder to shoulder with us, uh, being on either a BMP or uh, being on any of our conference projects that we do. Uh, it would be lovely to have each of you. Thank you, Deepak, for taking time and yes. being with us.